Yo, welcome back to my first playthrough of Forza Horizon 4 on Xbox One X. We're doing World's Fastest Rentals and this is Chapter 6. I think it's the Pagani Sonda, this one. Yeah, it is. Pagani Sonda Cinque. Our client today is interested in something a bit more relaxing. A nice drive in the country, you know? But in something elegant, something exclusive, something Italian. So I got a Pagani's on the Cinque, one of only five in existence. Hey, we've got our reputation to consider. Let's do it. Is set. Go show them how we roll the world's fastest. Was this a rear wheel or a forward drive? I might be a rear wheel drive. Let me just have a look at the map. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. One of the most important bits I saw at the map was a roundabout, and to keep up the pace, you're going to have to try and go straight through it rather than around it. See, so it might take us a couple of tries. Usually, the first try is just to see how things go, you know, like a bit of practice on. But this is the bit I was on about. Oh, it lost the control a little bit. We're still going. Fuck, we ain't gonna make this. Yeah, we ain't gonna make this, no way. We've already hit 120. Man, that's fucking weird. Look at that, we're like nine seconds day, over the we'll time for free start. The How's that? They can handle. Come by for the next one. I've already got some ideas. You have to drive like you got a fucking hard on to get. Look, one star, you fucking mad. I didn't crash or anything. Set. Go show them how we roll the world's fastest. Yeah, there ain't another way that's quicker than the way we're given. This isn't too bad. The last couple of chapters I was like really grumpy and pissed off because the cars were just completely out of control. This just got like better brakes. It doesn't spin as much, it's like, easier to just tap the throttle and lightly press it down. Usually the car still will spin on all these other cars. I mean, we went over this run out just like this the first time, which, is, which surprises me that we were nine seconds over, or uh, just under nine seconds over. Fuck, this road's packed. Go at this speed. Yeah, look, I still ain't made it. This time we have three, nearly four thing. seconds we'll over, and to me that was pretty much handle. a perfect run. We'll come by for the next one. We steamed I've through the roundabout, we didn't crash. We're still three seconds over. I'll try for the third time now, but um, I'll be surprised if we get it. Let's check the map again. There's not a better way to go than what the GPS has laid out for us. So I don't know how we're going to shave those three seconds off. I mean, we flew straight over the roundabout. We didn't even go around it. I just don't see any other quicker way of getting there. We're just going to pretty much 
just uh, have to keep doing it until we fucking shave more seconds off. I mean, we shaved like nearly seven seconds off that second time. But the faster and more crazier I drive, the more at risk I am of losing it. Like there, just lost it. And I've got them going full throttle this time as well. I doubt we'll even get 123. I mean, look how fast we're heading over this roundabout, for fuck's sake. You can't get over that roundabout any quicker than that. We should shave loads of time off. So we've got just under 25 seconds. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to get there without uh, coming off the road by driving like this. That's what I'm just worried of. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, we ain't making it. Even doing this. Look at that. We shaved another two seconds off. That was our best, our best run. Usually, I always say my videos, you've been watching my series, especially when it's races against opponents. I give the the race three attempts. If I can't come first after the third attempt, I leave it at whatever position I came in. Um, it's just more exciting that way, you know what I mean? Because you want to come first, and basically three stars is first place. That was our third try, and we still didn't get it. We were like two seconds off. Um, we'll try again, though, because this is an interesting one, because it's not like I'm driving shit. I'm like pedal to the metal the whole way. Let's have a look at that. There, there is no other way, quicker way. If I have to use a shitload of rewinds to get the time, I'll do it. The other ones, I hardly use any rewinds. I mean, look at that. Breaking and turning is like a massive mistake. That was terrible. Broke, then rolled around the corner as you do. Not good enough. Didn't even let off the accelerator on that corner. It'll basically be full speed all the way until the very last corner now. I won't let off the accelerator oh, until we um, reach that. Uh, last bend where you have to let off the accelerator because there's no way you would get around it so 25 seconds left about ten seconds 14 15 16 17 18 no. Oh, oh we just this made it. We'll give them all the relaxation they can handle. Jesus Christ. So it took us four ideas. times and we finally got it. At first, you know, when we were nine seconds over, I really thought like what the fuck? I wouldn't be able to beat it, but yeah, it took me four tries and you can watch each try there. There's no bullshitting going on. I don't see the point of just only uploading the the video of just making it on the first try. Because my, I, I don't, most people won't make it on the first try. They'll want to see, you know, you need the practice to know the sort of lay, the layout of the, of the trip, and see where you can keep the accelerator down and where you come off it, and you want to come off it there as minimal as possible. That very first corner, and at the very last corner, the only, well, the very first corner, and the very last bend are the only parts where you should let off the accelerator. But anyway, you try it yourself. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that shit. If not, go fuck yourself. I'll see you in my next video.